the answer to the first one is 4 by 12. The reason being there are 4 of those boxes which have been shaded and the total number being 12. Great. Now let's look to do the next one. We have two of them which have been shaded and all together there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. The next one is two of them have been shaded and a total of 9. Now how do we get 9? That's the trick one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The next one is five of them have been shaded and the total number of circles are 8. What fraction of the letters in the word country are vowels? So we have two of them which are O and U are the ones which are vowels and total of 7. So it's 2 by 7. There were 30 marbles in a bowl. 2 by 3 of them were blue. So 2 by 3 of the total which is 30. So it is 60 divided by 3. Which gives us 20. And green ones are 1 by 5. So we need to do 1 by 5 of 30, which gives us 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So we have the green marbles are 6. So we have 20 plus 6 is 26. A total of 30. 30 minus 26 is 4. And we have 4 red marbles. The next one, circle the fraction which is not a like fraction. We notice that like fractions are those which have the same denominator. We see that 7 by 9 is different. And in the next list B, we have 2 by 6 which is different because the denominator is not 7. And in list C, we find that 5 by 8 does not have the denominator 5 which everything else has. Compare the below fractions and write less than or greater than in the blanks. When the denominators are same, you look at the numerator. So you find that 2 is less than 9. In the next one, again, 16 is the same as in denominator. So 5 is greater than 3. And 19 is greater than 18 because denominators are the same there. And 25 is less than 28 with denominators being at 29. Tick all the pairs of equivalent fraction. Remember, equivalent fractions are those... You can do it in two ways. For example, if I have 5, how did it become 15? So 5 threes are 15. And does the same principle hold true for the denominator? 10 threes are 30? No, this is 20 here. So which means this is not an equivalent fraction. Let's look at the next one. 3 becomes 27. So 3 nines are 27. Is 9 nines are 81? Yes, perfect. So that's an equivalent fraction. Another way of doing it is reduce this fraction, both the fractions to the lowest possible term and see if they are the same. For example, 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9. So this becomes 1 by 3 and 27 1s are 27 and 27 3s are 81, which means that both of them are equivalent fraction. Let's look at the C. 6 by 24 in the lowest term would be 1 by 4. 8 by 32 in the lowest will be 8 1s are 8 and 8 4s are 32. Again, it is an equivalent fraction. 7 by 14. How did 7 become 14? 7 into 2 is 14. Is 14 into 2 21? No. Let's look at 22 by 33. So bringing it to the lowest term, I said you can do it in any possible way. So you have 11 which is in common in both. So which is 11 2s are 22 and 11 3s are. So it is 2 by 3 whereas this becomes 1 by 3. And here you have 21 by 63 is 1 by 3 in reduced fraction. 21 3s are 63 and 23s are 60 which is again an equivalent fraction. You had a box of chocolates. You gave 4 by 10 of them to Rohan and 3 by 10 to Samina. What fraction of the box did you give? So you gave 4 by 10 plus 3 by 10. Remember the denominators are same. So you just keep the denominator as 10 and add up the numerator and write it as denominator is 10. The numerator is 4 plus 3 is 7 by 10 of the boxes. Boxes what is the answer? Rishi had 15 by 20 kgs of rice. He used 7 by 20 kg to make pulao. So he had 15 by 20 
of which he has used up 7 by 20. Used up means it's gone or rather it is reduced. So which means it is subtraction. So 7 by 20. When the denominators are same, please write the denominator as is here. And 15 minus 7 would give you 8, which is 8 by 20 kgs. We have Sonam who traveled 8 by 15 of the journey by plane, 5 by 15 of the journey by train. So altogether, Sonam has traveled 8 by 15 plus 5 by 15 is 13 by 15 portion of the journey. And the entire journey is considered as 1, which is 15 by 15. So she has completed 13 by 15 of the entire journey of 15 by 15. So the remaining journey is 15 minus 13 is 2 by 15 of the journey is what she travels by bus. Now let's look at the next one. It's improper fractions to mixed numbers. So we have 42 divided by 11. So let's write it out here. 42 divided by 11. So we have 11 threes are 33. And when we subtract this, we get 9. So it is 3 and 9 by 11. And we see that it is across here. 70 divided by 16. So 70 divided by 16. 16 fours are 64. And we have the remainder 6. So it is 4 and 6 by 16, which is across here. Let's mark it as a straight line. The next one is 56 by 11, which is easy because 11 fives are 55, which we see there is a 5 here. And the remainder is 1. So we mark this with respect to 5 and 1 by 11 and the other one is 50. We just have one option but we should always verify if it is correct. 50 divided by 16. We know that 16 multiplied by 3 is 48 and 50 minus 48 is 2 which is perfect. So if you've enjoyed doing such worksheets, you must go on to Luma World and download a lot many more there.